what was weird about Antarctica? There's nothing there. So if you want to go see the emperor penguins or all of the wildlife that is available, you can't go to the interior of Antarctica, which is where we were. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> thought that this was going to be the coolest jump that I'd ever done. And what I will say it is it's the probably the coolest location because we were there for a week. We did our first jump the day after we got there, and then we did the final jump the day that we left. But it's a camp, the company called Ailey, Antarctic Logistics and Exploration. And it's a full-on camp. Like, Alex Honnold had passed through shortly after we had left there. He was climbing Mount Vincent, which is the largest mountain in Antarctica. Crazy group really? of people. So fully set up, like library, indoor packing area for us to do our parachutes, bathrooms, showers, really nice tents. Will Smith was there earlier. That Like, if you're going to film, if you're going to do like a a high-end film project, you basically work your way through that. It's fully established. There's a blue ice runway. We flew in on a 757, a runway made of, like, blue ice. The runway you land on is straight fucking ice. It's a chartered 757 through Icelandic air. Holy shit, you just land on ice? Straight up blue ice. What the fuck? That's what it is. So those are that's the Russian plane. That actually landed while we were there. I got a killer GoPro shot. That's the camp. Yep, that's it right there. And that's basically what it looked like when we were there, too. Is that camp set up for scientists? Like no. At the South Pole, there is a bunch of, from my understanding, like pure science going on there, funded by governments. This is straight up. I mean, you can go there and just hang out at camp. You can go see glaciers. This is at one of the other. They have remote camps Whoa, as well. They have like that. a like very high-end camp. Like not, Yeah, like there's tents like that. Those are the tents we were standing in right there. That one you're, that's hovering over there. Those are the kind of tents that we were standing in. But it's on an ice field. There's no, there's no insects. There's no wildlife. The sun doesn't go down. How much food do they have up there? As much as you could possibly want. They had a full like dining facility. It like it's it, the setup there is unbelievable. You can go in and get food anytime you want to. They'll have a presentation every night. High end like National Geographic photographer. All sorts of crazy motherfuckers pass through there. Like I'm just gonna walk to the South Pole, and they'll come back in subsequent years and give talks and you know, where they went and how they avoided these crevasses, which I had no fear of until I went to Antarctica and got the brief on crevasses, which is just, you're dead. They'll never find you again. <gasps> and the camp is, of course, surrounded by them. So how we, deep are they? Hundreds of feet deep. It's just from the shifting and moving ice. This is a guy who fell into one skiing. This is making its rounds on the old internet. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. I mean, so you can't even see the body. He stops himself. This guy self-arrests. Oh, fuck. But can you, I mean, like, who knows how much farther down that... He was able to get out using ice cleats and a piece of rope yep. from his friends. So he was smartly <gasps> not out there by himself, so they probably saw him go in. Jesus. But we got this brief on, hey, we're getting ready to jump, and just so you know, like, here's the landing area and everywhere else is crevasses. I'm like, oh, mm. okay, so we should probably land in the landing area. It was crazy. <sighs> and they shut the camp down every year. Twin so Otter. why do they shut it down every year? The winter is just super gnarly and it's the dark season. So instead of the sun never really coming or never really going down, the sun never really goes up. So uh, it's shitty to have people out there. The people that are there all the time, they must be weird. I think it's a special kind of person that wants to make oh, that yeah. their occupation. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, you think? <laughs> but the jump there was wild. I mean, I bet. we were in a twin otter, which is a normal skydiving plane, and they had the door open. They actually took the door off. But we were kind of up forward. There wasn't a lot of wind coming in. I'm talking like electronic gloves, several layers profusely sweating underneath. Oh, no. For those of you out there who don't know what happens to liquid when you jump out into a freezing environment, so you're sweating your ass off, jumping out into, it's probably in the negative 30s or 40s. Free fall, parachute, open up, and you're just like ripping off clothing in Antarctica. 